Hello and welcome to Edward12 on Distro Linux. This is no virtual machine, this is actual hardware now. I'm risking it for a biscuit and 1204 Beta 2 has just been released today. So I thought rather than downloading a virtual machine and installing it, I thought since it's pretty stable on when we did the Aries OS, I thought I might give it a shot and just do a system update. By doing Alt F2 and typing update manager dash D, and you can tell this because everything's purple. For some reason, everything likes to be purple. I'm going purple today. Maybe if I press in Alt F2 again, check out update manager. Alright, everything's still purple. <laughs> anyway, so yep, we've got updating Ubuntu to version 12.04. Uh, let's have a look on the other screen about what's new. Uh, beta 2 includes the 3.2.0-20.33 Ubuntu kernel which is based on the V3.2.12 upstream Linux system kernel. Um, as of with beta 1, the beta 2 no longer carries separate AMD server and generic flavours. These have been merged into a single generic kernel flavour to help reduce the maintenance burden over the life of the LTS release. i386 has had their default kernel changed to PAE. We've also removed the non-SMP power PC kernel flavor to reduce mainstream co maintenance costs. Anyway, that's to do with the kernel. The default music player has been switched to Rhythmbox, which the, includes the Ubuntu One Music Store. Hmm. And the LibreOffice has been updated to 3.5.1. Uh, the system settings appearance panel now allows users to easily configure some properties of Unity. A Nautilus quick list support has been added to the Unity launcher. There is a new way to search and access the desktop's indicator menu called the HUD. Tap in Alt key and enter some letters and words and it will show the corresponding entries including some fuzzy matching. Um, press enter to execute the action. This one is executed on the current focused application. So say you are on Skype and you want to quit Skype you can just press Alt and enter search quit Skype or should or you know say you want to log out of Skype you can just press Alt and then log out or whatever or you can do Alt shut down or whatever it's just to make life a bit easier anyway so you've got click pad support where track pads and the physical button are integrated into the surface um, Ubuntu one other until 11.10 the Unix group for administrators with root privileges through through sudo have been admin starting with 1204 it is now it is now sudo for compatibility with debian and sudo itself however for backwards compatibility admin group members are still recognized as administrators um Just telling you what's happening with Kubuntu, Exabuntu. I will put a link in the description on what I'm reading at the moment, which is basically new features in Precise. Right, no issues. Boot installation and post install. Visually impaired users should refrain from installing this beta. The screen reader is unable to access the ubiqu ubiqu ubiquity page tiles. On some hardware, when installing using a live CD, ubiquity hangs for the camera loads and after clicking continue on choose a user screen. If this happens, please use the alternative image to install your system. There is no network support on some Beagle board system versions. On AC100 ARM images, no keyboard selection is offered. A manual workaround is shown in the bug. Um, on PowerPC, when installed alongside Linux, the system does not automatically boot into the newly installed system. A work the workaround is to hold down the option key to get a boot menu to proceed and proceed from there. Upgrades. The IA32Libs package that is used to provide 32-bit libraries on an AMD64 installation have been removed in favour of multi-arch. Systems using IA32Libs must migrate to multi-arch in order to upgrade 12.04. In most cases, this should be set up automatically by the upgrade process. Some users who upgraded through previous development releases may have removed 
xadpkg slash dq dpkg dot cfg dot d slash multi arch I must restore it with the contents for an architecture i386 in order to have 30 bit library support in 1204 <coughs> landscape is currently incompatible with multi arch we hope we find a fix for 1204 but if you're using landscape then you will need to either remain in with 1204 or remove any 32 bit libraries aptitude does not work on 64 bit systems without disabling multi arch Remote desktop does not work with the FGLRX video driver nor with the legacy NVIDIA drivers. You can establish a connection but with the remote screen does not update. As a workout use Unity 2D or switch to the free drivers on NVIDIA current. Maximized windows can be accidentally closed from the wrong monitor. Oof. When using Super Tab and Super W and related to Unity Hotkeys, application workspace switcher or launcher often stay open instead of performing the requested action. Pressing the Super key again will fix this. These are basically known bugs that they're going to fix. <laughs> there are some upgrade n known issues for system installed before. On first boot, you will lose any of your compass settings and can end up with a session with just the wallpaper, no interface. In that case, just log out and log in again, we'll, and the next login will be fine. There are also there are known audio issues with OMAP and OM, OMAP 4 images. Software RAID fails to rebuild after testing degraded code boot on kernel. Um, telling you about the different versions of Ubuntu, what issues I've got, and how to basically precipitating finding a bug and sorting that out so yeah um, basically 1204 has come out so I thought why not give it a shot thought well it's getting close to 1204 now it's pretty stable pretty much can't really go wrong there. I thought if all happens, I can just reinstall a button. Oh. So we're just waiting for the updating repository information. I will pause the video and I'll be back when it's finished. Might have to log out and log in because I'm just hung up on the um, updating repository information. So I want to pause the video, log out, log back in, try again, see what happens. Alright. 